Parupali Kashyap, perhaps a little bit of the changing of the guards. Chetanandan, of course, has been the face of badminton in the past couple of years, the past few years, and Kashyap today winning in straight sets. Started the match yesterday, though, against Rajiv Usuf for Kashyap, an important one. They were fighting neck and neck. They were at 18 all in the final set, and there was that one controversial call where the shuttle appeared to, uh, to hit outside the line, and then it was given in. And a little later in an interview, Rajiv Usuf also said, well, maybe that shuttle was out. But you know what, I had hit the net a little earlier and this was an evening out. Well, really close, it was really interesting to see that Kashyap could have been in that gold medal match. Yeah, which is why the little emotional outpouring of Kashyap, because uh, even though he got the bronze against his uh, superior, Chetan Anand, and he doesn't win against Anand often enough, perhaps a little thought might have entered his mind, yeah, I've got the bronze, which is fine, which is great, you know, but I really should have been and could have been in the final. Just a couple of points separated the two. He came back very well against Osef, if you remember that match yesterday in the semi-finals. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't to be. However, Chetan, of course, is the highest ranked player, and uh, it may not be exactly a change of guard, but it certainly shows that Indian badminton has a fair amount of depth, and that's always nice to know. All right, uh, where else do we move on now? Oh, 36 goals, by the way, because of boxing now. Well, 36. Now, India and England, all throughout today, were battling it out. England had the divers, the Tom Daly, 16-year-old Champion diver did pick up that gold, as did the lawn bowl singles went, uh, that also went to England. A few other boxers notched up the gold, but just in the past two hours, India came back with that gold in doubles in table tennis, Sharat Kamal and Subhajit Sah, Fantastic. and three golds that came in boxing. And of course, maybe a quick reminder about the shooting. You have the dope on that. Well, in shooting, I'd say we were, you know, five gold medals were up for grabs today. India, unfortunately, perhaps a little under expectations. But Hina Sidhu did pick up that silver in the 10 meter pistol category. And of course, we had a, a little later also in the day, we had one more bronze medal that actually came from last time's MVP of the game, Samresh Jan. Had to settle for a bronze. Unfortunately, not a gold for him right now. In the full board, India didn't really have a competitor. But still, you know, just an okay showing, two medals coming in, but four gold medals coming in the last two hours. Yeah, terrific display by the boxers. Of course, Saranjay, just to remind you, got a walkover in the flyweight 52 kilogram category. Manoj Kumar, an excellent fight in light welter 64, and of course, just a short while back. Hope you were watching that. Paramdeep Samoda again showed a lot of heart and got India the third gold medal out of three in the finals. Fantastic. All right. Time to move on to show you some more uh, live coverage of a sport that is not often played uh, in India, or certainly not around India, uh, not most of uh, the, the corners of India, but New Zealand and Wales are competing in long bowls, so uh, from some frenetic boxing action to long bowls, and we'll be back filling you in as we go along. And... 